Okay, so we've been talking a lot about compound probability and different ways it can be used in more real life type examples than just you know rolling dice and pulling uh, pulling cards from a deck of cards. So in this example, I want to talk about the weather and how we can use compound probability to make predictions about the weather. So if you look here in each of these different examples, I've got a few different weather stats here, and I pulled these. You know, this is the weather here for today, tonight, and tomorrow. Uh, in the area that I'm at right now. And you can do this with your own weather app. You can pull up these different numbers and you can follow along with the same exact math that we do to make similar calculations. And what I'm going to do here is highlight, because this is what we'll be using, each of the probabilities. So I pulled this off of Weather Underground. You can use whatever, whatever weather app you'd like. Um, but uh, you can basically pull off each of the different probabilities that it's going to rain either today, tonight, and tomorrow. And then we can make predictions to find out, well, what's the probability it rains both today during the day and at nighttime, too? Maybe I have something that I, I think, okay, well, if I, I want to either do it today or I want to do it tonight. And as long as I get one little window there, I'm okay. But if it rains both, I'm going to have to find something else to do. Um, so we've talked a lot about this in the last few examples where uh, if we want to find the probability of an and compound probability problem, also sometimes, you know, the word then is in there instead of and. Um, what we're going to have to do in an AND problem is multiply the probabilities. So what we'll do is we'll go to our little chart here, and we'll say, okay, well, the probability that it rains today is 50%. So we'll put this in here as a decimal. So we'll put in, so this is going to be the probability of rain today times the probability of rain tonight. And we just can see from this chart here that the probability from, that we have rain today is 50%. So I'll put a 0.50 here. And we're going to multiply this that by the probability that it rains tonight, which is 0.60. And if we multiply these two probabilities together, we're going to end up with 0.30. And... To see this, so to kind of um, turn this now back into a percent so that we're looking at all these things, uh, this will give us a 30% chance that it rains both today and tonight. So we can see that, again, when we want two things to happen that are both sort of random things, the probability that they both happen is going to usually be smaller uh, than if we just had the one thing happen. So we can see if it just rains, if we're just looking at whether it rains today, that's a whole 50%. That's a coin flip. But if we're looking at it rains today and tonight, that's going to be a 30% chance. But let's say, you know, I want to leave something outside. And if I want to leave something outside uh, and I'm worried that it might rain, what if I want to find out, well, if I leave it outside, if it rains today or tonight, I should probably bring it inside. Let's see what this probability is going to look like. We haven't done a whole lot with these in a little while with some of the, the newer videos I've been doing with this. Um, so, but let's kind of remember in an or problem, we're no longer uh, multiplying the probabilities. We're going to add the probabilities together. So we want the probability it rains today or tonight. Now, here's where it gets a little weird, and this is where people start to um, forget something that we talked about in probability before. So what we'll do is we'll take the probability of rain today plus the probability of rain tonight And let's just kind of see what happens if we add these up, and we'll see if you can kind of spot what the problem is going to be here. So if we add this up, we saw that the rain today is going to be 50%, and the rain for tonight is 60, and we can actually see a big issue here right away. We can see that we're going to end up with a probability of 1.10, or basically a 110% chance that it rains today or tonight. And that's not Correct. We know that probabilities can't ever go over 100%. So there must be something we're missing here. There must be something incorrect. I'm going to give you a second and see if you can talk, remember back to some of the things we did with these or problems and see if you can try to guess what the problem is going to be. You need to pause the video here to see if you can figure that out. By all means, you're welcome to. And we'll go ahead and talk about it now. So remember that in or problems, uh, we do have to add the probability, so there's no problem here with this first step, but we do have to subtract the fact that there might be overlap. 
And in this case, the overlap is going to be the probability that it rains on both days, which actually we calculated right up here. So the overlapping probability is this multiplied 0.50 times 0.60. So we're going to have to subtract this 0.30 away here, which means the probability won't actually be 1.1 uh, or, or 110%. If we fix this. It's going to be 110% minus 30%, and that's going to be 80% or 0.80. So remember, probabilities can never be over 100%. Or below zero percent. So if you ever get an answer like that, something funky is going on. And in this case, we just missed the overlap. There has to be, you know, the probability that it rains on both days is the overlap, which needs to get subtracted away. Okay, we'll try one more. We'll try another or problem because I think those are the trickier between the two in these examples. So let's try an or problem again, and we'll see if we can go through the whole thing here. So um, to find the probability for an or problem, we're going to look now for let me erase this little star here. We're going to look at the probability that it would rain tonight or tomorrow. So we can see our numbers here are 60% and 20%. So we'll use these. So we're basically going to take our two probabilities and add them. So we're going to take 0.60 plus 0.20. But now remember here, we're going to have to subtract this overlap. And in this case, the overlap is going to be, what's the probability it rains on both days? And to calculate the overlap, we're going to have to multiply the probabilities, kind of like we did in this first part up here. So if we take 0.60 and 0.20 and we multiply them, we're going to end up with 0.12. So that means the probability it rains both tonight or tomorrow is going to be 0.12. And now to kind of finalize our calculations here, we're just going to add these things up. So we've got 0.80, so 0.60 plus 0.20. That's the 0.80 that a lot of people would get if they just added them. But then we have to remember to subtract 0.12. And that should give us a 0.68 for our probability, which is the same as a 68%. Okay, so there's a 68% chance that it would rain tonight or tomorrow, either one of those days. And it could rain both as well. That's why we have to subtract the overlap away. Okay, so this hopefully cleared up a few things that people don't really understand with or probabilities, especially when dealing with the weather. Um, the mistake that people make is they forget that you have to subtract overlap when you're dealing with these problems. Otherwise, you end up a lot of times with probabilities that are over 100%. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. hope this cleared up some of your weather probabilities and try this on your own sometime. If you're looking at your weather app, you can calculate these probabilities by hand without too much trouble.